Now I just want to show off something that's uh, really neat about the SRS LTE, the uh, way it can uh, show you in a graph form how RF is working. There goes that. So uh, I'm, I'm running SRS LTE in a uh, Docker container just to control all the different uh, custom libraries, dependencies, anything needs. I, have, I do several projects and, you know, if um, one, one needs a UHD uh, driver version, blah, blah, blah. A different one needs something else. So it's a good way to keep them separate without having to reinstall it. But uh, if we start this up, and then I have another shell where I connect to it. Execute that, and uh, yet another one. We're connected. So in this one, I start up the... Eat, uh, I gotta add the uh, masquerade. Start up the EPC. In this one, we will start the E node B. Uh, it's back here somewhere. There it is. Okay, E node B is set up for graphic, graphical, and it comes out and displays this, this neat thing that I wanted to show off. So at this point, I'll take the uh, handset which has a, a SIM card in here that's in the user database. Take it out of airplane mode. And if we're lucky, at some point we will get a you know, connect here. And to do that, I need to turn something on. There we go. Turn on the auxiliary equipment and it connected and we have UE allocated 172.16.000 so at this point I'm going to run iperf as a server on the docker container Boy, this is really bad focus and then on the client here going to run something called magic iperf and yeah it's going to be a client so as soon as we start that up I'm going to hit start here we're going to start uploading tons of data can't because it's still no data yet. Sometimes what I have to do is put it in airplane mode, take it out of airplane mode, reconnects. There we got 4G. Now if we go into this and click start now we are uploading. Now this is just what I want to show off that this in fact uh, as I move the handset around this is a really good um, RF sniffer. This is the uplink from the handset. As you can see the uh, PU physical uplink shared channel is pretty uh, fuzzy right now. And if you get it in just the right place so here's a there, oh, there's, there's a good spot there it was there we go now we're getting 15 megabits a second and as you move it around you get better lower quality signal I like to figure out the wavelength this is on band what band 20 now band 7 to 2600 2.6 gigahertz and figure out what that wavelength is and you move the phone a quarter of that distance. As I move it around, this is really neat. You can find where the good spots are. Anyway, I just wanted to show that off. But that's doing the uplink. Uh, iperf running on the phone as a client. S sending gobs of data up to a iperf 3 server running on the uh, docker container and you know, I can go around the room and see how good that is. Anyway, I just wanted to show that off.